All right. Um, Young Dylan fans, Tyler Perry fans, I don't really know how to say it. But in any case, I just finished watching the series premiere of Young Dylan on Nickelodeon. Uh, technically, I watched it on the Nickelodeon YouTube channel, which live streamed the episode. And it's pretty much on like repeat. Uh, it's about 22 minutes long. So if you watch The Pains before, um, if you watch House of Pain Meet the Browns, it's pretty much the same link. And of course, watching it on Nickelodeon's YouTube channel on the live repeat, uh, there are no commercials. Um, what are my initial thoughts? Uh, I honestly wasn't going to watch the show because for obvious reasons, I am not the target demographic. I am 28 and this show is obviously made for kids. But being a Tyler Perry project, young Dylan being a... Uh, social media star amongst you know the younger demographic and whatnot uh people asked me to chime in so it was first episode i mean don't expect like hey are you going to do exclusive uh, extensive trailer breakdowns what's going to happen next week on young dylan or character analysis no don't think so i mean i don't even know if i'm watching every episode i'm doing this because people wanted me to I thought it was cute, you know, um, I mean, just like any show, the series premiere sets the foundation of what's to come. Um, I believe Rebecca is the name of the daughter, Sassy. Uh, some of the lines and dialogue between her and her brother are pretty funny. It's like, I'm 12, that means I'm almost 20, yeah, in dog years. That was pretty clever, I will admit I did chuckle at that. Um, I don't know how to feel about the portrayal of... The, you know, young Dylan just having nothing but street, street jargon. And then he has to teach the other kid. I, I, I forgot the names, but the uh, younger son, how to kind of switch up from the private school mentality to being, you know, hip to the streets. But uh, I mean, I, I feel like that's going to be a running gag throughout the series where the adult characters aren't aware of what young Dylan is saying, but then their daughter is going to be used as a translator. And then slowly but surely, the son might become more like young Dylan, but then, you know, he might become more grounded, if you will, to the family dynamic. And we get the background of um, the dad's mother coming in. And I just seeing those familiar faces, like as soon as I saw Cole Brown come on the screen, I'm like, oh, snap, it's like Martin. And the wife, oh my gosh, she is gorgeous. She, she looks like Nyla from uh, The Pain, Stephanie Charles, but I know that isn't her, but yeah, very attractive. And yeah, as an adult, I can say that because, you know, young Dylan is a kid's show. But I, it, it was pretty standard setup, you know, um, is, what is the name of the main character? I forgot. But when the dad, I don't know the character names, my bad. But basically, his mother shows up with young Dylan. Turns out his sister has become a hippie, no phone or anything. And it's all about giving Dylan a young, I mean, excuse me, young Dylan a stable home environment. Because the grandma obviously lives in like a retirement community. So it's good to be around kids his age, which is actually pretty good. I mean, it's almost like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air in reverse kind of I guess where young Dylan is coming to his uncle's place and well when I initially saw the trailers and whatnot I thought young Dylan was going to be like you know somewhat wealthy and famous as a social media personality before moving in but it looks like young Dylan is just well um, young Dylan the MC from the street if you will and maybe he'll become famous as the show goes on within the continuity of Young Dylan. It's almost like I'm speaking in the third person, what I'm not trying to. But in any case, uh, it really did feel like a Tyler Perry show, but in a good way. What I mean by that is, you know, just uh, a show about black family, which is awesome. And seeing the value in it. I, again, it was the first episode, so in terms of, like establishing character dynamic and whatnot, I'm not looking for extensive like, you know what, they could have spent more time on the wife's character or this joke didn't land or the laugh track was annoying. Honestly, the laugh track in this show was more bearable than on the pains for some reason. I don't know why that was, but long story short, uh they agree to take in young Dylan. Then they have the whole thing about, you know, telling the son about where babies come from, French kissing because American kisses don't make babies. That actually cracked me up. That was pretty good. 
and he agrees to stay. And then Rebecca's running gag about wanting the puppy and then being the adult one amongst the kids, the mature one, that was pretty good too. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm not really, they really, I mean, uh, the grandma and Dylan show up. Dylan is, you know, agrees to stay with them. And it wouldn't surprise me if like on a, what was that show? Meet the Brown when Joaquin and uh, Bianca's mother, who was like a crackhead, ended up showing up a few times during the show. But Will and Sasha were still like the legal parents or guardians because, you know, they wanted to stay with them while their mother got their life together. I could see the hippie mother showing up at some point. That actually makes sense. And then just like any other show, when the drama ensues, it's like, you know, Dylan has to make the choice. Does he want to leave to go with his mother or does he want to stay with his new family? And I could see him staying with the new family. Obviously, he's like the Will Smith and um, the his cousin is the Carlton Banks. And then Rebecca's kind of like a blending of Hillary because she seems above it all. And yeah, I don't really see much of Ashley in her, more like a Hillary Banks kind of persona. Yeah, then Uncle Phil and light skinned Aunt Vivian. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was good. Light skinned Aunt Vivian. But yeah, I definitely think uh, this show will will hit the target audience well. If younger audiences, I can see loving the show. Theme song is actually pretty catchy. Young Bill, Young Dylan got bars. I will admit he got bars. Again, I'm, I'm an adult. I don't really follow um, a lot of. I guess you could say kid social media star. So I really couldn't tell you his song that made him famous. But I did Google Young Dylan before watching the episode. Apparently, he's been on the new incarnation of all that. And he was on the Ellen DeGeneres show and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, I hope this show does well. And uh, congrats to Tyler Perry for his first uh, Nickelodeon project. So if you watch Young Dylan, let me know what you think. Um, did you like the first show? Uh, if you have a younger, you know, like family member, if you have children or nephews, cousins, nieces, whatever, uh, did they watch the show? How did they like it? And once again, it was just the first episode. Um, oh yeah. And the whole thing about the imaginary friend, I think the episode was called imaginary friends. I mean, I didn't have one growing up. My sister did. And I'm not just saying that to throw under the bus. I literally did not have an imaginary friend. I just didn't see the appeal of it. Um, so yeah, I guess you could say the youngest son is definitely going to, uh, mature as the series goes on. And, uh, I'm pretty sure things will kind of be switched up when we get maybe scenes of them being in school and you know how young Dylan's going to, oh yeah, that's right. I think he did mention private school. So it will be like, will going to Bel Air Academy. So yeah, pretty good show. Kudos Tyler Perry. Hope it does well. So uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, do you want me to do more Young uh, young Dylan videos? Like I said, uh, I'm not going to watch every week. I, I'm not going to promise that. But uh, maybe on Patreon, I'll review it. Who knows? But yeah, with that being said, social media links below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. We're over 17,000 followers. Let's see if we can hit 20,000 before uh, April. And oh, also... Happy March 1st. We are three months into 2020.